At Kobo this week, athletes from across the country are competing in dozens of competitions. But everyone there is on the same team because each and every athlete is a veteran. And they're all over the age of 55. Casey Hollins has more. Downtown Detroit is hosting some pretty prestigious athletes this week. I started the games probably about 2011. Athletes like Charles Miller and James Henderson. They're here for the National Veterans Golden Age Games. I'm a Vietnam vet and I served in 68, 69. I was in the Marine Corps in 69. Military veterans from across the country gathered to compete in events like badminton and bocce ball, but many of them say their favorite parts are the moments between matches. You get to know people from the different states and you come back each year and see them and see what, how, the progress they made. We're a team, we're a family. There's a brotherhood, sisterhood aspect to, to being a veteran. Meeting new people and forming new friendships is a big part of the Golden Age Games. But make no mistake, the reason all of these athletes are here is for the competition. It is, it is competitive and, and everyone wants to win. The Golden Age Games bring competition, camaraderie, and in a lot of cases, healing. I think it's the, one of the most um, difficult things to measure, and, and that's the mental health aspect. There has been a lot of trauma physical trauma as well as mental trauma and uh, with these games it helped bring some of that release out in a way that we feel together a togetherness and to many that's worth more than any medal in Detroit Casey Hollins seven action sports I think it's safe to say that's the only event maybe ever where there's no booing of any athlete exactly they all win and <laughs> yeah. they're all winners and heroes really yeah thanks